Good day, good people. It's Jenny Moran with Miss Fit to Madness. I'm back. 121.22, you do the math. One. Anyway, y'all, it's all about God over here, okay? I just had to share this message right away because, you know, I've been having an earache since, you know, I even published my business, Miss Fit to Madness, right? And I'm like, dang, obviously I already know people going to talk. But I ain't know it's going to be this deep. So my father said, Jimmy, you'll have to tell these people what they need to hear, all right? So that your earache will cease. All right? Y'all, first of all, I want to tell you, yes, I understand. Everybody wondering, how the hell Jimmy going to tell us about love and she ain't even got a man? Let me tell you how, y'all. God definitely chose me. See, all y'all misunderstand exactly what the message was supposed to be. The message is not that I can help you find somebody that you should meet, a man that you can love, or a wife that you should keep. The message is all about we. I'm here to teach about love. And there ain't but one person who had that key. His name is Jesus. And yes, don't get caught up in all that mess. His name is Jesus. And that's exactly how we know him. The word has been forever concrete. But his name has changed, yes, for certain. So don't be getting caught up in all of the name and name and he said, she said stuff. It's all about the Holy Spirit and it's all about the one. All right? Yes, he resides in me. And yes, he definitely chose me. He knew that I was going to be able to stand strong through all of the peaks and valleys. I don't care, y'all, where I've been because I know exactly where I'm going. God told me a long time, you my child, that I will console. I don't need nobody to feel sorry for me because, yes, Jenny, she's a, definitely a sinner uh, between uh, every guy that I would meet. But that was between me and God himself because definitely I was battling me. A lot of y'all may not understand this, but I was battling an addiction and abandonment needs. I didn't even know myself and that's why I was always settling for less than. But in all actuality, it wasn't less than. It was exactly what I deserved. Until we become a sober mind and give our life over and give him control. Of course our life is going to be in shambles because guess what we thought we know. I don't know nothing y'all. I'm just like you. I'm just a regular person too. But when the Holy Spirit takes over me y'all. Hmm, it ain't nothing that I can't do. So I got my shirt on. Actually I can. And yes I know because he lives in me. He told me a long time ago, you my daughter, it's okay, I'm forgiving thee. Because I always knew inside that there was so, so, something so special about me. And it's that the fact that I could love everybody, not caring what you look like, or uh, uh, who, who's your family. Love don't care about none of that, y'all. All love care about is one. Ain't nobody capable of true love, y'all, unless you only know God. God is the only thing good that surfaces in this earth, especially these days. So don't anybody never need to claim nothing because that's where you're going to make your mistakes in. I ain't claiming nothing, y'all. God definitely covers me. He took me from the very bottom. Well, I think he took me to the bottom so that he could actually refurbish me. Yes, I started from the bottom, y'all. I'm going to tell you my story. When I moved to Dallas, my life had changed and I was definitely starting to search thee. I started on my journey and my life, it looked very... Un, unbelieved because I had actually started walking and I had a car that I could drive in. 
I walked the streets to my brother's house back and forth on the regular. I'd walk to the store, to the Walmart, uh, to my friend's house or wherever I could. I didn't depend on a four-wheel drive to take me where I needed to go. He said, use your two legs and I'm going to walk with you so we can have a talk. That's for sure. Okay? So from then on, I had lost everything, y'all. And for the first time in life, I had $5 in my bank account, y'all. But that was only to keep it open. Because the bank said, if you ain't got $5, your bank account, we ain't holding. So from there, I had nothing. And depended on somebody I never thought would be able to help me to where I was going. You'll never know who God going to use in the midst of the commotion. So like I said, I came back home and my life was just nothing. But I was still confident because I knew I could go nowhere but up. From then on, y'all, my life started changing. I turned it over to him. I started praying, y'all. I was crying daily. I was on my knees. Asking for begging for forgiveness for my sins. I still was battling addiction, y'all. And that's why things was happening slowly. But God still took me in. He said, I know she gonna make it. She gonna give me full control. And yes, he, he did. He worked with me. Because he knew I was coming. So from then on, he gave me. A nice amount of little money. But I kept in mind exactly where I had just came from. And that was actually nothing. I did right with my money and I prayed about it. In a home he gave me. To console in. A home he gave me at 33 y'all. And I paid that mug off at 37. I don't know nobody else. In my immediate family, or not even my grandparents or nobody, y'all, that own their house in their 30s. But God chose me, and he gave me a house. He said, you ain't going to want for nothing. You ain't going to need nobody. You ain't going to need nobody but me. And I believed him. He also gave me a car, y'all, because the people came and picked theirs up. I couldn't afford to pay no $600 car note. Shoot, I ain't even have insurance if I'm keeping it a book. My life had came to nothing. I turned it over, y'all, and I gave it to him, and he gave me everything I had been knowing. I knew one day I would own a house. I just didn't know how. When? And I really wasn't all that certain. Because I had been through so much in my life, y'all, that, shoot, I was just trying to make it. But then he gave me a message. He said, no, you still my baby. So here I stand and I started my business because after I had all this, I said, God, what? What next can I give? He said, give him your story, Jenny, and give him the glory. Because without him, I was nothing. I gave him my life. And every day I sacrifice just so that he can get the glory. So if you're wondering, oh, what she know about love, shoot, everything. Everything, and that's for certain. I've always loved me deep, deep down inside because I knew better was coming. Don't think that you alone and you should feel all lonely. Man, that's the devil working. 
I don't have no kids. I ain't never been pregnant. And I ain't never, never felt lonely. That's because I appreciate all of my loved ones, my immediate, my immediate family. Y'all, we so strong, the devil tried to break us time and time again. But we always keep connecting. God don't make no mistakes. This lineage is real over here. And like I said, it ain't about no name, and that's for certain. It's about real love, and only God knows that. And you got to accept him in your life every day to know that it's real. And it's worth it. So yeah, I thought I'd share my story just a little bit, y'all. To keep my ears from hurting. Don't think that it's Jenny that's telling y'all about love. Because Jenny, remember, she knows nothing. It's the Holy Spirit that lives within me because I accepted him wholly. And that's for certain, okay? It's a huge sacrifice to give up your life for the people who who gonna talk and run and say, she still ain't nothing. And that's good and that's fine. You go and do that. But that hole that you're digging will be for you and not me because I won't even know it. Because I don't feed into the negative energy. I keep myself from around all of them kind of uh, demons and I don't deal with that for nothing okay so y'all can keep on pushing and I'm not gonna delete you off my Facebook page because guess what my enemies they help me when I struggle we all need motivation you turn that negative into a positive and watch you be blessed in front of them who lurking I needed my haters I always had them they the one who gave me the most energy to keep on going. And God told me this. He said, keep on going, baby. And watch, I'm going to bless you in front of them. And that, my friends, is how he gets the glory. Okay? So, yes. Your girl ain't owning nothing over here. Your girl ain't saying, oh, I can help you find a wife and help you find a husband. No, nah, I can't do that. But I have read enough books to be able to tell you exactly where you might be going wrong and where you could be better. Because we need to look at ourselves. Women, we act like we're a good thing just because we got a house and we got a car and we got a good job and we can cook and clean. But God don't care about none of that. God said keep your legs closed, okay? Until he commits. If we women practice being a good thing, a really good thing, we have the power to change the world, y'all. We have the power to change the world. These men want it so bad. They want it so bad. They'll do anything. And guess what? If they don't, they're going to move on. And they're going to move on to the next woman. And she's going to withhold too. And he's going to want it so bad, he'll do anything. That is the true challenge that we ladies face we hold the power and we give it away all the time and i've been guilty of that myself but when you battle an addiction that's what you're gonna do if you're addicted to drugs if you're addicted to uh drinking if you're addicted to overeating if you're addicted to um your favorite tv show if you're addicted to anything we there's a lot of addictions out here y'all that controlling us that we think we in control we're not in control Okay, with that being stated, when you battle an addiction, you'll never be able to reach your full potential. And I'm just saying that from experience, y'all. I was a functioning uh, pothead, so therefore I know, and I can say that. But I'm clean and sober. God is taking over me. He's taking that taste out of my mouth. I don't even miss it no more. And guess what? I can be around people that's smoking, and it don't bother me at all. You know why? Because God's still going to use me to be in the midst. He's going to bless me in front of these people so they can understand he's real. And that is how he gets the glory. We can't hide ourselves. And we can't be lying to ourselves about who we are. 